I'm joined now by Memphis Tiger running back and now Dallas Cowboy running back Tony Pollard. Tony, you took a bit of a risk leaving Memphis early, declaring for the draft. Just how does this opportunity and this day measure in your life? I mean, it just shows that, you know, with hard work, anything is possible. You know, believe in God, believe in yourself, stay true to yourself, and work hard in anything is possible. Third day of the draft, fourth round, what was this wait like? I mean, it was crazy because I didn't know if I would go late day two or early day day three, but I knew it would be somewhere in between there, and I'm just, I'm just glad everything turned out the way it did. The phone call finally comes in. Take me back to that moment. Man, it was crazy because I was at the house. I'm watching. I'm like, I'm like, why everybody crying? Like everybody crying when they get picked. But when I answered the phone, like my hand was shaking. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, it's real. That, this is why, I like, we you know I held it together. But it was just, it's almost surreal just how everything happened for you. Being in Memphis, I've now come to learn that there are quite a few Cowboys fans here in this city. What do you have to say to your new fan base? Man, enjoy the ride because it's gonna be a good one. I'm just ready to get out there and show what I can do. What do you want the Cowboys and, and Cowboys fans to know about you as a player, Tony Pollard? Um, I'm just a, a humble, hard-working kid, you know, ready to get out there day one, work hard, and make a name for myself. Daryl gets taken yesterday by the Rams. Just what does that say about how talented the backfield was here in Memphis last season? I mean, it just showed, like, where our program is going. And, like, every year is more and more draft, player, draft picks going into the draft. You know, we had two running backs out of the backfield to get drafted this year, and it's just it's crazy all the talent that we had and the way that we, we managed to get everybody touches and just spread everything around. From Melrose High School to standing here right now as an NFL football player, just what has this journey been to you, and what does it mean to you that you've continued it all the way here in your hometown of Memphis? I mean, just, just hard work, and, you know, with, like, any type of adversity that comes your way, just push through it and, and and stay focused and keep working and doing what got you here and believing in God and just let everything else play out. This is the second year in a row that two Memphis football players have been drafted. What would you say to future players and recruits about how the University of Memphis is a place where you can go and you can make your pro dreams come true? I mean, if you want to go to a, a big program that's, that's not too big to where you'll get lost in the shuffle, but you can come in and make a name for yourself and, you know, also have hopes of going to the next level, then Memphis is definitely the place to be. When the Rams and the Cowboys play and it's you versus Daryl, what's that going to be like for you the first time? I mean, it's crazy. I know we're going to have to do the jersey swap, but I can't even imagine it right now. To become teammates with a guy like Ezekiel Elliott, what do you like most about his game? I mean, just the way that he runs, you know, being a physical back and also having speed, being able to take the long, the short runs and, you know, go the distance. You know, it just shows what type of athlete he is and the player that he is. And I'm looking forward to it. Is he a guy that you really think that you could learn a lot from? Yes, ma'am, most definitely. You know, just, just being around the whole team, you know, especially guys like him, just learning what I can learn and, you know, just being myself and just going out there and doing what I do best. Did you grow up a fan of any team in particular being here in Memphis? Um, I grew up being a fan of the Ravens, you know, because my first team that I played for was the Whitehaven Ravens. So it was just the Ravens that stuck in my head, so the Baltimore Ravens, but... I mean, now that I'm at the next level, the Dallas Cowboys are my favorite team right now. What did you know about the Cowboys growing up? Did you have any opinion on them, watching them play? I mean, I knew that it was America's team. You know, almost anywhere you go, you got Dallas Cowboys fans everywhere. So I know it's a, it's a great, like, great fan base. Great. Thank you so much, Tony. Congratulations. Thank you.